In Pawtucket, a look at the new mega school planned for the old McCoy Stadium site. Right where the Paw Sox used to be, it's part of a statewide effort investing a billion dollars in new and remodeled schools. Joanna Boris is live in Pawtucket at the building site, a familiar place for many. Joanna. As McCoy Stadium comes down and a brand new high school goes up, around 2,200 students will be roaming the hallways and the surrounding areas. Some people tell me they're worried that could lead to trouble. It's going to be a lot of kids running around in the neighborhood. One big state-of-the-art high school will replace the vacant Paw Sox Stadium in Pawtucket. Students from Tolman and Shea High Schools, each built more than 90 years ago, will have to coexist. The schools have always been rivalries. And I don't know, I think some things are good about it, but most things are just going to be bad. The state education commissioner says a single school is the only way to go. Remember, we're doing fewer and newer. That is the goal of the state. It costs money to run old buildings. It doesn't give the students, the faculty, what they need. But nobody knows what it's going to cost. Nevertheless, the commissioner and the governor delivered a $50 million check to Pawtucket to offset building costs. And back in November, Pawtucket voters approved their own $330 million bond. There are many unknowns, but the new high school is coming, housing 550 students per grade. In a city that's used to having smaller high schools, the size will take some getting used to. I don't think it's a good idea. There's going to be too much commotion, too much traffic, too much children in one spot that are just going to cause havoc. The funding Pawtucket received today is part of a statewide billion dollar school improvement plan. The high school here is the single biggest part of it and it's expected to open in fall of 2028. Live in Pawtucket, Joanna Boris, NBC 10 News.